Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream, and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Beyond Light Intel, of course. And today is Friday, my favorite day of the week. We have our Friday update. Zur has returned. Unfortunately, Trials has not returned yet again. No real estimated time of arrival on Trials at the moment. Iron Banner will be returning next week for anybody who thought it was going to be here this week. And Zur can be found today in the Winding Cove in the EDZ on Earth. And for people who don't know this route, this is actually the easiest route, there's actually a hole in the cliff. Everybody seems to want to jump up on the right. It's just too much work. Just go through the tunnel. It is kind of hard to see though. I have my brightness turned all the way up. For some reason today it was actually a lot easier to find. Usually I have trouble finding it. But here is Zer for today and I'm going to get to all the information regarding his loot as well as all the other cheeses, farms, and glitches that are currently available in the Destiny 2 community at the moment. But before I do, I just want to remind everybody I'm still doing the giveaway on my YouTube channel. The next one will be at 50,000 subscribers. All you have to do to be entered into that giveaway is like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the notifications, the bell that's right next to that big red subscribe button, and follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below, along with a link to my Discord channel. I encourage anybody to go ahead and join if you're looking for any help with any of the activities that we talk about on this channel. And as always, if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll have a secret hashtag you can leave in the comments section to be entered into that giveaway a second time for this video. And remember those secret hashtags, they stack between all videos. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, why not go back, check out another video, and of course, do it again. All right, Spaghetti Face, what you got this week? Zer is selling. Whoa, okay. He has the Warcliffe Coil. All right, well, definitely buy this. This is like one of the best things he's sold probably in months. I don't, I really, he hasn't, he's been kind of, kind of light with the loot, honestly, with stuff, uh, stuff being good like this. It's actually usable and not just sort of a novelty exotic. Definitely get the Warcliffe Coil. I know that there are plenty of rocket launchers out there that people don't use. And every single time we introduce a new rocket launcher, there's always a lot of hype because everybody thinks, is it the new Gallahorn? For your eyes only, I think it's the new one. And, you know, at first everyone was saying, oh, it's Gallahorn 2.0. And now everyone's like, well, I don't know. It doesn't really do that much damage to bosses. Listen, we're probably never going to get another Gallahorn, if I'm being honest. Everybody wants to wish, but nobody's actually, you know, it's not real, really a possibility. It's not realistic. The weapon just broke the game. There's many weapons that have broken the game, but Gallahorn was probably tops. We're never going to get another one. However, this is probably one of two that I would say is actually worthwhile as an alternate for, say, a sword in some cases, or an anarchy, which are really the, well, they're two of my go-to exotics as well as the Xenophage, like a sword, like a fallen guillotine, or the Lament at this moment. Maybe the Xenophage on certain encounters, nothing can beat it. Or a Anarchy is really what people are using right now. But there are certain occasions where a Warcliffe Coil, if you can get it to cooperate, because it's not that easy a weapon to actually be accurate with, will do you a service. So pick it up. We have the Graviton Forfeit for the Hunter class. This is a 62 total roll. We got 10 mobility, 9 resilience, 14 recovery, 7 discipline, 14 intellect, and 8 strength. Improved invisibility, that's what you get. The broader explanation increases the duration of any invisibility effect. Your melee recharges faster while you are invisible. It's an old school D1 exotic. I remember I was really excited when I got this in D1 because it just looks so cool. I don't know what the ornaments are for this, but I can imagine there's some cool ones just because 
this is just oh i actually have one in the ornaments let's take a look that looks even cooler everybody yes aesthetically pleasing however i don't know if it's actually that usable i'm sure that some people use this in pvp i think that's probably where it's the most used if anywhere 62 total roll not terrific so you know maybe pick it up if you need or if you don't have next we have the Titans ramparts for the titan class this is a 59 total roll absolutely garbage uh, we have two mobility 14 resilience 13 recovery 14 discipline two intellect god that's really low for an exotic alternate and 14 strength yeah not a good roll not a great time probably to pick this up unless you actually just need it you don't have it you and your allies can shoot through your towering barricade i mean it's a usable thing it's definitely something that i've used on occasion but i don't actually find i use it with teammates it's more just when i'm by myself you can shoot through your barricade it was kind of a thing in pvp when it first came out i don't know if people use this now as an alternate the more broad explanation um, or description you and your allies can shoot through your towering barricade which has reduced health and duration so you kind of lose a little bit of its sustainability or its durability excuse me when uh when you use this but you can shoot through your shield so you know there's that not great though of these two probably the thing i would pick up last actually of these three definitely the thing i would pick up last but let's move on to the warlock class we have verity's brow this is a 60 total roll really low on the rolls this week come on Zer, what are you doing man and we have a 12 mobility 15 resilience four recovery nine discipline 14 intellect and six strength again that's a 60 total roll energy weapons energy weapon kills boost grenade damage and the broader explanation which is much broader energy weapons energy wet i keep saying weapons energy weapon kills grant death throws throws is that throws or throws i'm not really sure which provides a bonus to the damage of your grenades and grants you grenade energy when you have death throws throws and throw <laughs> okay all right this explanation come on guys death throws and throw a grenade <laughs> nearby allies gain greatly increased grenade regeneration for a short time all right if you comment on how much i butchered that explanation uh, you'll be entered into that giveaway again just comment on how much i butchered it your best gripe on how much i butchered that whole reading i want to hear it but that's it for Zer loot. Definitely pick up the Warcliffe Coil if you don't have it. Also, guys, if you are trying to level up a second character, and I have talked about this in the past, but I'm going to talk about it again. Sometimes I forget to mention this, but it really should be mentioned because we're still fairly early into the season, really early into the year. If you are leveling up a second character, you can use Zer to your advantage because it is the only place where you can actually buy a piece of armor for another class and get the level or the power of your actual class that you're buying it on. So for example, I am on a Titan right now, but I can buy a Graviton forfeit that will be 1249 for my hunter and then I can just put it in my vault transfer or transfer it over to my hunter and that gives him a power bump if say he's like at 1200 right so this is like one of those ways where you can really like if you're not a season pass owner uh, if you're just looking for something quick because you really only play on one character and you just want to get something over to your second or third character just to give them the power bump for maybe I don't know, one or two activities that you want to try out. This is a great way to do it. Because there's only one place where you can do this, and that is Xur. So, like I said, 
My gear on my Titan is 1250. I can buy a 1249 or 1248 and then transfer it over to a character that's much lower. Maybe I haven't even started my second character yet and that'll automatically give that person that level piece of gear. It's a great thing to do or, you know, a weapon, any of those things. Let's see what I get for an exotic Ingram this week. I'm really low on legendary shards. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Uh, I'll do it anyway for the views. Oh, come on. Come on. All right. Let's see what the roll is on these lion ramparts. Uh, garbage. Thank you, Bungie. Um, thank you, Destiny. Thank you, Zer. Thank you so much for all the useless rolls on lion ramparts i swear to god i don't know what it is i get this exotic more than anything is there does everybody who's watching find that there's one exotic that they just get all the time sound off in the comments if you do there's tell me what that exotic is and how often you've gotten it because every single time i swear i've gotten like three of these in the last week like no joke really useless but it is a great exotic, I will say that. And if you are a Titan and you don't have Lion Ramparts, pick them up when you get a chance. Maybe you're getting them dropped like every third exotic that you get, like I am. But definitely keep one set around because if you're someone like me and you like to exploit the game as much as possible, sometimes you want to jump to places that you can't get normally, this is definitely the exotic you want. I've said many times this is probably the best glitch exotic when it comes to the titan class that is the exotic that you're probably going to want to use as far as gear is concerned if you're looking to get places that you shouldn't be able to go just because you get that extra boost of airtime buffs maneuverability and air hip fire in lift that's kind of a bad explanation provides additional aerial maneuverability enables accurate hip fire while you're in the air during the basically these just give you a much bigger boost that's really what happens and you can sword fly with them if you do it right uh, look up tips on sword flying if you don't know what that is and then i also have i guess i have an exotic cipher eh, i'm not going to use it. i'm going to go to the the wall and i'm going to buy something from there i'm not going to use it here he's going to i know he's going to do he's going to give me lion ramparts again it's happened to me. I've gotten the same exotic twice from the same thing. Twice, right in a row. But that's going to be it for all the information regarding Xur today. So if you were just here for Xur, hope you liked the commentary and the info. But now we're moving on to the second part of the Friday show, I guess. We're going to cover farms, cheeses, and glitches. So... What do we got going on? Well, we have for the, we head over to Europa, the Empire Hunt this week. I talked about this in my last video. The Technocrat. This is how you get the Cloud Strike. If you don't have the Cloud Strike exotic sniper, you get it from farming Empire Hunts. And if you were to search how to get Cloud Strike. There's a fairly long explanation that will take you down the whole road of how to level up Varix and get his things going so that you have selectable Empire Hunts like I have right here. And I did all that. And then I found out, you know what? You don't even need to have selectable Empire Hunts unlocked. You just have to have a friend that does. And you can go in, and as you can see, you can farm Cloud Strike it is one of the available, though at rare, I have still haven't gotten it yet, so very rare drops from the Empire Hunt on Europa at any power, so even at 1280. So you don't have to have Empire Hunts selectable, selectable Empire Hunts when you're looking at right here. You don't have to have any of this unlocked. You don't have to do any of the quests. All you have to do is have somebody or know somebody who does. There's places online where you can look for a group and uh, get a, get somebody who can take you into this. You won't be able to select it, but they can select it and they can bring you in and you can do an Empire Hunt and you still have a chance of getting the Cloud Strike. So don't worry about doing any of the quests unless you're just looking to solo this. Just get a buddy. You got one friend, get him. Get him to do it. 
all right it's that easy as far as the things go with the power um, obviously this is a great way to farm out like high stat armor enhancement cores enhancement prisms it's great for all that uh, as well as the option I'm possible I'm possibly getting a cloud strike um, people have said that they've gotten this on 1280 uh, 1180 people have said they've gotten this on 1220 I don't know if doing this at a higher power or higher difficulty uh, will improve your chances of getting it. I've done it on every single one. I've probably going on about 15, maybe even 20 runs now across the board. I haven't gotten it yet. So I don't know. I don't know if RNG is better on higher difficulty. You would think, but I don't know. So, you know, anybody who says that they know, we don't really know. But, you know, you can you can try it how you wish. I would say if you want faster runs, obviously go for the lower end ones. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, maybe if you know some some better drops, like as like a consolation prize, if you don't get Cloud Strike, then go a little higher. But I don't know about the uh, RNG. But I'm getting this question a lot, so uh, I can just tell you I'm not really sure. However, the Technocrat, though it is probably one of, I've heard it's one of the longer Empire hunts, though I can't be sure, I haven't really done a timer, but I would say it's probably my favorite, definitely my e the easiest in my opinion. Again, I talked about this in the last video, Empire hunts, this one is very, very cheesable. Uh, there's a great cheese spot in the boss room if you're doing it solo, essentially you can get behind a wall. It's kind of even a glitch because you kind of get under the map a little bit. I would say it's a cheese if there was just a spot where you're hard to actually get hit, but there's actually a spot where you can't get hit, even by like the frost, the stasis frost that the boss throws at you. And if you're in this spot for a little while, the boss will just actually kind of park himself right in the same spot, not move and actually not even shoot. And you can just do damage to him. You can do a whole phase he, and he won't move. And even after the phase, he just kind of sits there. The only part that kind of stinks is you have to run around so that you can take out those uh, mines that are floating in the air before you can do damage to them. But it's a great spot to just hide one of your fire team, or if you're doing it by yourself, it's essential. So go check out my last video. It'll be linked top right corner of this video or at the end. Um, it's for that's It says Cloud Strike Farm on it. Check that one out. Technocrat, definitely uh, one of the easiest. There's also another really easy sort of jumping glitch uh, where you can actually make your way across the map. This can only be done with a group of two or more, but one person can essentially make their way across the map um, bypassing a whole bunch of the enemies. And then once your teammates get to a certain point, I think they, I don't know if they get pulled, but all the enemies they're on will disappear and they can just sort of run through quicker and if I think if they do die they actually will just get pulled to the boss room but essentially because you're already where the boss will spawn you sort of bypass everything the bond the boss spawns in and you can just start off the encounter so it actually makes farming I think a lot quicker when you're doing these empire hunts but check out the last video for that um, we also have of course our uh, wonderful where is it uh, raid farm have just stayed here when it comes to the Deepstone Crypt. Deepstone Crypt is, I love this raid. Uh, probably not for the reasons you should love a raid, but I love this raid. It's um, it's pretty leaky, you know? It kind of feels like a, like a Crota's End. I think that was the name of the, yeah, Crota's End in D1, where it was just like that raid that you did all the time because it was just like, it was solo soloable, you know? Like you could actually just, run it by yourself if you you didn't even have to be that great you just had to kind of get used to how you had to work it you had to like do certain things at certain times you know it was like learning a raid with a group except you could do it by yourself and that is this raid because there are so many chests and so many encounters that you can solo in this thing right now it's worth giving it a try uh, if you don't get the encounter chests you can get all the free chests, those are those like extra chests that are in the jumping puzzles. The one after the uh, the Sparrow encounter right in the beginning, so easy to get on all three characters. I mean, literally the easiest chest probably to get in the game as far as secret chests go. I've talked about it before, but all it revolves around is essentially getting 
on your sparrow just outside of the heat one of the heat bubbles while you're actually inside the heat bubble so have your sparrow parked outside have yourself inside and then get on your sparrow while you're still inside and you never get the frostbite debuff you can just you can get off your sparrow you can just walk to the chest like literally just walk through the whole thing all you need to know is the route get that secret chest on all three characters so easy uh then the second chest there's a way outside the map you can you can get stuff on uh that's a little bit more complicated i have a video on all the secret chests you can actually get in the game currently if you haven't seen it it'll be linked top right corner end of the video it's like two videos back i cover every single secret raid chest on all the raids not just Dean's deep stone crypt we're talking deep stone crypt we got the garden of salvation and of course the old school uh, last wish. All of these have secret chests. All are soloable. You can do them on all three characters every week. They're fairly easy on all three characters. Maybe one that's kind of difficult, but no reason to sleep on any of these. Just get yourself some free loot. Go check out that video. Quickly, I am going to head over to the Tangled Shore really quick, uh, just because Sometimes, and I've talked about this many times, the spider is selling planetary materials for legendary shards. And though I've just spent all my legendary shards on a useless exotic, <clears throat> lion ramparts, and though I don't have that particular material a lot today, legendary shards are probably one of the easiest things to come by. And on a good day, you can buy planetary materials for legendary shards from the spider. And if everything's working out like it should, you can head on over to Banshee 44 or Clovis Bray, however we should refer to him at the moment. Spoilers! Uh, <laughs> hopefully uh, you knew that part already before I said it. Um, and you can buy some upgrade modules, which I'm sure everybody loves though not really as much of a thing at the moment because trials isn't back yet but you can buy some upgrade modules for legendary shards because essentially you can buy planetary materials for legendary shards and none of them are being sold for legendary shards today they're all being sold for glimmer but still pick up a few it's a little bit higher cost in my opinion you can actually trade oh well all right well, this is actually kind of fun. If you have a, uh, if you need some glimmer, you can you know, <laughs> just kind of go back and forth uh, buying glimmer and uh, datalatus. Not sure. That's a. It's weird that he's selling both of these today. I don't know if I've ever really seen that. Usually, this would be the thing you'd be selling for legendary shards, but uh, not the case today. But just buy some stuff. You can do some exchanges, and then of course head on over to Banshee. See if he's selling upgrade modules for any of these things. Uh, let me just make sure I remember what they are. So if we go to Banshee, um, we got, let's see, we got Dusklight for Glimmer, we got Datalatus for Glimmer, we got Barium Bows for Glimmer, and we got Helium Filaments for Glimmer. And the last thing, this will be the last thing I cover today, and then I'll maybe make my way to the tower. Um, when it comes to the Crow and this thing, the Cryptolith Lure. I hope I'm saying that name correctly. If you're looking for a way to basically have more lures, it's very simple. Okay? You can actually... It says you can only hold three, but that's not really the truth. If you use any one of the things in the first spot, right? You just use this guy. Now, the thing is, you can switch these things as you want. Right. Once you know what boss you're fighting, you can switch them all you want. Uh, but using just filling that slot, right? You can go and do and get more uh, lures. But you see now it's one out of three versus two out of three. And then if I go back to it and I reset it, where's the reset? Oh, I gotta fill it out. Fill it out. Fill it out first. Let's see, I'll use this and I'll use this. And I'll reset it. You'll see it'll go back to two. Two. Um, you can also use what I just did, that reset, to 
sometimes, and I only say sometimes because it, it doesn't seem to work all the time, change your um, action bonuses, the things at the bottom there that say, in this case, uh, send blockers in Gambit or defeat guardians as a teammate, as a team. Um, some of those are really annoying, and those are like the bonuses that you can get uh, to get lures, you can do to get lures. Um, so say you don't want to play Gambit, and you just want to do strikes. Uh, by resetting your lure, occasionally we'll reset those. I think it's like once every day. I'm not, I, I've seen it happen. It's happened to me. I don't know if it just did. I, don't, I Go back. Maybe it did switch. I wasn't actually looking at those before I, uh, I reset it. But I think like once per day you can reset it, or maybe once per week you can reset it. But if there's ever a thing that you just don't want to do, just try filling out one and then resetting your lure. It's not going to cost you anything. And see if uh, see if those switch, because they can. And that is going to be it for all the information. I don't think there's anything else. I think we covered it all. We covered it all twice. It's a super long video. Everyone's going to be like, dude, this could have been like five seconds. Yeah, it could have been. But it isn't. This is Friday long day, okay? This is Friday, Zer. We talk about everything. This is the recap of the week. Everyone's going, it's going to be their weekend. They're going to be playing. They want to know what's up. Some people haven't played all week to this point. It's because you're the guy who gets to play on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It doesn't mean that you're everybody. Some people just playing on the weekends. And so you got to give them the fresh stuff, all right? Things change every week. Before we leave, Banshee, what's he selling? We got, ah, Dataladis, there you go. Upgrade modules for Dataladis and uh, Spin Metal Leaves, which oh, I have 182 Spin Metal Leaves. I don't even know how I got those. I haven't even been to Earth. I've, I mean, I've been to the EDZ, but God, I, I've yet to explore the Cosmodrone. So much stuff in this game right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, for the hashtag, you can leave in the comment section. Leave a hashtag, Zer, because it's Zer. Or a hashtag, uh, Spaghetti Face, because you know what I like to refer to him as. Or a hashtag, Trolled by Lion Ramparts. Uh, any other thing we talked about a lot. Any other thing we talked about today, leave it in the hashtag down below. Or just you know, one of those other things I mentioned, told you to mention what exotic you got, what you get all the time, all those things that I talked about. Leave them in the comment section. And as always, I am Wilhelm Scream. We will see you in the next video. Little.